Hey guys, I'm Sweater from NIP's PUBG team, and I just want to speak briefly on the closed experimental server of which is hosting PUBG's new map, codenamed Savage. As far as first impressions go, at this moment in time I'm in love with the map. The terrain doesn't get stale, nor does the color palette, and the ranges and line of sight the map offers vary, but requires the player to shoot and hit their shots with confidence, as it's easy to disappear with the foliage throughout the map. In my opinion, the map is fun, challenging, and its replayability as of right now is incredibly high for me. Parachuting onto the map is a bit different than what most are used to, meaning the map is so small that the plane actually moves a lot slower than it does on other maps, and this affects the timing at which players tend to drop onto their given compounds for loot phase. I believe that the most effective way to jump out of the plane is slightly before being parallel with your wanted destination. This is important simply because of the number of weapons on the map. If you're late to a compound because you messed up your parachute, odds are you're going to get shot with nothing but your fist to protect you, then you're back to the loading screen to do it all over again. The blue zone has changed as well. Currently on Savage, depending on the number of players alive, the timers for the blue zone will shorten to speed up the game in hopes of keeping the game not so stale. More intense weather is also being introduced and reintroduced. Fog has found its way back into BR matches, but what's new is how the fog rolls in and how the fog rolls out throughout the match. We should probably expect the very same effect to apply to other weather effects. In regards to competitive play, it's definitely interesting. The map is small, so the number of teams on the map will have to be less than the usual 16 for squads. My estimate would be anywhere between 11 and 13 teams for squads, and of course 22 and 26 teams for duos. The adaptive safe zone timers would need to be removed so a static rule set for competitive play can reward teams for taking fights and allowing them more time to gather info for future safe zone rotations instead of slaying out, reducing the timer, and effectively reducing the amount of time they have to gather info, therefore potentially getting them killed far earlier in a tournament than they would like to be. I believe the adaptive timers should be thrown into public matches and just stay in public matches. But of course, that's just my opinion. We'll see how it goes. To get a code to actually play Savage, you just have to go to mapbeta.playbattlegrounds.com, uh, log in with your Steam, and they should throw a code at you. So once you get it, you should be good. Hope you guys have fun. Good. Two of them? Dead, dead.